Go ahead. Make my day. Hey guys, hope you're going well. Sorry I am a little bit late on this month's Foreign Film Friday movie review, but that is because instead of doing a single title for this month, I thought we're well past the halfway point for the year. So let's round it up a little bit and talk about some of my favorite foreign movies of the year so far. A lot of these movies I have actually done standalone reviews on, so where possible I will leave links. So if you're interested, you can go check it out in more detail. Let's kick it off with number five. It is the Japanese Japanese anime The Boy and the Beast, also known as Bakemono no Ko, directed by Mamoru Hosoda. This is a fantastical, coming of age type adventure. It's set in a parallel universe where this young boy, Kyuta, becomes the apprentice to this grouchy, reluctant swordsmaster called Kumitetsu. The animation of this is absolutely stunning. I just, I love the way that it looks visually. There's even some magical realism type moments where there's a bit of CG overlay over the animation which really brings it to life. The characters are all really well rounded and this is the type of anime that is definitely uh, grounded in a mundane, ordinary type of way and by that I mean all of the characters are having to deal with very real world issues despite the fact that this is set in a fantastical place. It's funny, it's uplifting and it's definitely a really cheeky, this is a fun anime. Although one thing to note if you do not watch a lot of anime, there can be some emotional spoon feeding and by that I mean it can go a little bit hard on the emotionality at points but nonetheless this is a really beautiful anime. Number four let's talk about the Austrian psychological film Goodnight Mommy also known as Ixe Ixe. This was actually the first movie I ever reviewed as part of my Foreign Film Friday series and it is terrifying in the sense of um, less is more. It's got this simplistic horror style and it is amazing how quickly your mind will just fill in the blanks and what you're imagining is like 10 times more scary than what you're actually seeing on the screen. The movie follows twins Elias and Lucas who are whiling away the days of boredom and isolation in their country home when their mother returns home and she's all bandaged up from a facial surgery and as the days pass the boys begin to suspect that perhaps Perhaps it's not quite their mother who is under there. This movie is all kinds of creepy and slow burn terrifying. You don't know who to trust and the twists just keep on twisting to the very, very end. Whew. It's one of those movies that know how to get in your head and mess with you. Number three, let's look at the one take heist film of Victoria. This one is actually even though it's a German film, it is predominantly spoken in English because the characters are from different parts of the world and their common language is English. But for the sake of this list, let's still classify it as foreign. Set over the course of one single night, the main character, Victoria, is leaving a nightclub when she meets this rowdy bunch of guys and gets caught up in some of their criminal, illegal type shenanigans. And before you know it, she gets way in over her head. It blows my mind to comprehend that this movie was shot in one single take. The filmmaking craft and skill level behind that is just... If you've never seen a one take movie, this is the one. It is so well done to the point of exhaustion. The fact that there are no edits, the camera is there unblinking the entire duration of the movie. You're kind of wanting an edit point. You're wanting to cut away to a different part of a scene or a story, but you're there, you're stuck with them the entire time for good or for bad, and it is an incredible journey. Next up at number two, it is the winner for this year's Academy for Best Foreign Language Film with the Hungarian entry, Son of Soul. It is easy to see why this film took home the Oscar. This is a gut-wrenching Holocaust film which follows the Jewish prisoner, Soul, and he is working at the camp. His job is to dispose and burn the corpse of his own people. This is one of those movies that is really difficult to digest, but if you stick with it, the results, the experience of it all is just so consuming. It's 
really astonishing to watch. The camera work in this is really unusual in telling the story because it is so up close and personal that you are seeing Saul so close and the horrors, the violence and the brutality is going on in the sidelines. The sound editing plays an enormous part of telling this story. The storyline here is a little bit more on the ambiguous side and it's more about getting to know this character in this very specific time period and just trying to make sense of the world. And lastly for me the number one favorite movie of the year this is the movie that just spoke to me on a very raw and primal level. It's the Turkish coming of age drama Mustang. The story follows the bond and relationships between these five orphaned sisters who are living in this uh, remote northern Turkish village. It all starts when one day after school the girls are on the beach playing with some of the local boys just having a good time but the girls are at that certain tender teenage age and this sparks a scandal amongst the gossiping neighbors. The guardians of the girls, which is their aunt and uncle, decide the best thing to do is to pull them out of school entirely and keep them under lock and key in the household. This is the kind of movie that gives me so much food for thought and also discussion when it comes to very specific cultural and societal normalities that happen in a country that is very different from my own. It brings up these incredibly uh, controversial but also really important talking points when it comes to religion, when it comes to conservatism and especially when it comes to the discouragement of female sexuality. Not that I'm trying to get too heavy right now. Just tonally and with the mood and the vibe of the entire production values behind this film, it just really got me on so many levels and tugged on all the right heartstrings. I highly, highly recommend the movie Mustang. That is it guys, they have been some of my favorite foreign movies of the year so far. There are still so many I haven't seen. If you have any recommendations or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd really, really love to know. Don't forget, you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and keep up to date with my other movie and TV reviews. And that's it from me. I will see you guys next time. Bye.